In this episode, you're going to learn how to clean up all the tests you wrote so far and restructure them. And that means you don't want them to be unit tests anymore that run with every Maven project build, but rather you want them to be integration tests that you can choose to run anytime you want to. And to get started with that, open up a web browser, search for Maven Failsafe plugin, because that's the plugin you want whenever you're thinking Maven integration tests. Click Usage, and then just copy the build block to your clipboard. Go back to your IDE, your POMXML file, paste it in, and you're good to go. Now, the failsafe plugin tries to find every Java class and run it whenever it ends with IT, and the IT stands for integration test, so you'll have to make sure to rename your existing test classes instead of test, Call them IT, like so. Now you can open up a console window, run Maven tests, and that should execute all your Maven unit tests, and you don't have any anymore. So let's have a look. You'll see Maven test compile, nothing to compile because there are no unit tests, and the Shawfire plugin doesn't run any tests. That's why you're finished in a second. Great. Now you can run a different goal, and for integration tests, it's called Maven Verify. Let's see what happens now. And you'll see it now tries to run some tests, the Stripe API key checker and the networking IT test. They ran, it took a while, and you'll get some errors. And when you scroll up, you'll see that four test methods were run. There's two errors, and actually they're both in Stripe service IT. Open the class up. And you'll see there's one error in the setup method, and it's a address already in use exception. And that's right, because in here we create a new embedded email server for every test, but we forgot to tear it down again. So create a new teardown method, and simply write, why is the stop? And that will make sure to stop the embedded email server for every test, and then it gets reinitialized again in the setup method. Good, let's see if that fixed everything. Simply run Maven Verify again. Quite exciting to see what happens this time. Again, it finishes with errors, and when you scroll up, you'll see the address already in use exception is gone now, but the Stripe service IT charge is successful method and the credit card is expired method still fail. And it's a bit weird because when you run them in the ID, they run just fine, so the, the tests are green. And when you scroll up, you'll see, uh-huh, well, they get a socket timeout exception, which means they cannot connect to Stripe. And then it gets wrapped in an I.O. exception and whatever. And it is really a bit weird to get these exceptions. Let's just make sure when you run the test in your IDE, if they work fine, and they should, so they're green. Now, what's the problem? In the last episode, remember, we worked on the Stripe networking tests. And for the Stripe networking tests, we made sure when you open up the Stripe service class, you can set a Stripe connection proxy, a proxy server, and connection timeouts and read timeouts. And the Stripe networking test has some application properties, and it sets an embedded proxy server. And the problem is, once your test is finished, the properties are still set. So Stripe still thinks it needs to talk to your proxy server. And that obviously isn't good. And you need to reset all these values. And that's where things get a bit ugly. Create a new teardown method. And then you need to know that you need to call Stripe set connection proxy, set it to null. And then you can also reset the read timeout and you can reset the connect timeout to minus one. Now, and this is an exercise for you to take home. What is ugly is that up here you have some properties. These are being set in your Stripe service class. And then in your test, you basically reset them. And it would be nicer to make all things homogenous. So think about how you could actually do that and to clean up these test methods a bit more. But for now, open up a console window again, rerun Maven Verify, keep your fingers crossed, 
Let's see what happens this time. If that was actually it, the test run takes a little while, and this time your build was successful. The tests ran, no failures, no errors, no nothing. Great. Congratulations. In this episode, you learned how to restructure your tests and made sure you can run all of them through the command line window with your build tool with Maven. And in the next episode, you're going to take this one step further and learn about categories and Maven together and how you can make the test setup even better. So let's get right after it.